In this video, I want to show you how to draw side-by-side -side box and whisker uh, using Excel. So this is an information about the weight of olives of 30, from 30 trees of two different orchards. So let's call this the green orchard and this the yellow orchard. So this is a sample of 30 trees or the weight of olives from 30 trees from two different orchards. So to draw box and whisker, the first thing that you need to do is to calculate the summary statistics or phi number summary statistics. So I hope, I hope you know the formula. So a minimum you go equal MIN, open bracket and uh, highlight the data. So you can go control shift down arrow that will highlight the data and uh, go enter. So that's minimum is 42. For quartile, it is Q-U-A-R-T-I-L-E, bracket, then highlight the first cell, and then you go control shift down arrow. And then for quartile, you have to put comma one, first quartile, or lower quartile, you have to put one. So the lower quartile is this. For median, median has its own formula, so or it can also be the second quartile median bracket, control shift down arrow, enter. So that's your median. Upper quartile is uh, Q-U-A-R-T-I-L-E, bracket, control shift down arrow, and comma three, the third quartile. And finally for max, it is M-A-X, bracket, control shift down arrow, and enter. So that's the statistics for from the green orchard. Okay, and for the yellow orchard, you do the same thing. Uh, equal min bracket. Click on the first cell, Control Shift down arrow, enter. Okay, and for this one, it is equal quartile bracket. Control shift down arrow is a lower quartile, so you have to go comma one. For median, it is M -E -D M E D R A N bracket. Control shift down arrow enter. And for upper quartile, it is quartile bracket. Control shift down arrow comma three. And for max, it is equal max bracket control shift down arrow and enter. So this is your statistics from the green orchard and this is from the yellow orchard a five number summary. Now the next step is important. We have to make five boxes. Okay, so how to make boxes. The first box for box one you go equal the first minimum. Just click uh, highlight that K2 and enter. Okay, for second box, you go equal lower quartile minus minimum. Enter. For the third box, it is median minus lower quartile. Enter. For box four, I see, I hope you can see the pattern. It's upper quartile minus median. And for box five, it is maximum minus lower quota, enter. And now if you catch, highlight the whole, all the, sorry, highlight the whole thing, catch the tail and drag it to the right. It will automatically find the value. So can you see this is 51, this is 58. If you click on this, you can see the formula there. It is L2, L3 take away L2 and so on. Okay, so after this, you have to highlight this whole thing, including the title like this. You have to be careful. You have to in highlight the title and the boxes and the statistics. And then go to insert and then go to bar and click on the second icon. Okay, so this is not what we want. So and then if you go on the top, left, it's it says switch row to column. You see, if you click on that, 
this is what we almost want okay we don't want these boxes let's delete that okay so let me drag it to this side so that you can see okay so the minimum is 40 42 the lowest of minimum is 42 and the maximum of maximum is 74 so i need to change the scale slightly i don't need from 0 to 80 so let me remove these lines and then i'll go right click uh, move your cursor to the axis right click format axis i'll go from minimum 40 to say we want up to 74 so let's go up to 76 and uh, this is the scale so let's go up in fours oh, so let's go up in twos and see what happens okay so this is good enough okay so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove these boxes we don't want these boxes so uh, left click okay and both the blue boxes will be highlighted right click format data series go to fill no fill border color no line so it's it's there but it's not there if we don't want this i'll explain why we are deleting this click on this red one same way right left click or right click form a data series fill no fill borderline no lines okay and we also don't want this last blue box okay so right click uh, left click right click form a data series fill no fill and okay oh i have to we don't want borderline no line okay and we want a border for this again click on the box left click right click form a data series border color solid line so let's make it black yeah and close so this is a box and again click on this the violet one left click right click form a data series <coughs> border color solid line <coughs> so these are the this is a box this is a box okay so here you can see this is so let me show you <coughs> excuse me so here you can see the lower quartile this is the lower quartile of the green one so let me go it up so the lower quartile is 45 so let me drag it so this is 45 for the green okay and for this one it is 58 now the next few steps are a bit difficult uh, you can draw the whiskers by hand it would be easy for some of you but you cannot use excel to draw the whiskers okay now to draw the whiskers you need to highlight both these green cell uh, boxes and use the arrow key to go to the next box so this the box which is there but not there which we have removed we have to highlight those two boxes okay once those are highlighted go to layout go to error bars click on more error bars and then we want this is a this is called uh, error bars so we want a minus uh, error bar looking like this click on minus and click on percentage and make it 100 100 percent so that will give you the whisker okay so here can you see the minimum is 42 so this is the green for minimum is 42 and for this is 51 okay so this is the whisker on the left now we want a positive whisker for that you need to highlight this uh, violet boxes then we need to let me take this slightly up so that I want to see these boxes these boxes should be visible box five should be visible okay so let me okay so let me drag it down so i think it is better okay so once 
again click on left click on the orange sorry not orange violet boxes error bars no error bars go click on plus and then click on custom okay so you need to i need to see these boxes okay click on plus okay and then click on custom and then specify value and highlight these two values like this click on ok and close here we go so these are the box and whisker for the two orchards can you see this is 74 and this is 52 okay so now you can add uh, let's make it bigger so that you can see it better so now we want to add a title for this so highlight the graph go to uh, chart title uh, sent above so and here we can say this is the box and whisker plot of weight of orchard uh, colored green and yellow you can make it pretty and then go enter so this is the orchard you can make it smaller highlight it go to home and let me make the font smaller so let me make it 11. now you can also change the color of these boxes if you want to so if you go to the, uh, click on this box uh, right click form a data uh, fill uh, solid fill so let's make it say red okay and this uh, let's make it this different color so left click one box should be highlighted uh, right kick uh, right click form a data fill solid fill so let's make it a different color so let's make it brown close okay, so these are two if you want to change the colors you can change it like this or you can also make it the whole thing yellow and this whole thing green so let's do that same thing again so let's say change this into green okay you can do those things yourself so this is box and whisker side and side by side box and whisker uh, uh, chart of two orchards